Hello again, and welcome to day four with eight gadgets. <laughs> I actually did this workout on day one, but I wasn't happy with the footage, so I'm reshooting it. This is my row machine, the Proform R10, and my favorite shoes, the Lone Peak by Ultra. They're really grippy, they're trail shoes, and they're awesome, and they're orange. Anyway, so today's focus is gonna be the Aura Ring, the Venue 2 Plus, the Garmin Phoenix 7X again, and where'd it go? Nope, not the Fitbit. Ah, right there, this one, the Amazon Halo View. I've had this since November. It's over three months old and you need to hear about it. It's a really cool tracker. It's kind of funny, uh, you, you start reviewing these gadgets and then you realize, ah, oh, this is lame. And you just put it in a drawer and you figure, well, I'll circle back to that. That's what I did, didn't use it for several weeks, strapped it back on and I'm like, hmm, this is actually a pretty cool device for 50 bucks, however, then there's the gotcha, the uh, hidden fees. There's a subscription after one year. The first year is free, and then they charge you six to eight dollars per month. Fitbit, thanks a lot for ruining everything. Actually, maybe it's Whoop. Did Whoop, Whoop, W H Whoop, Whoop? Did they ruin everything with their subscription model? So let's work out. Uh, today is going to be part four of the total body and threshold row. Duluth Curling Club, Minnesota. Let me show you. I am filming on the Samsung Z Flip with my wireless audio, the Rode Wireless Go 2. So here's the receiver, here's the transmitter, and then it also has a secondary transmitter for interviews. I cannot wait to use this. I'm using it this coming week. I'm gonna be reviewing the Ionic 5 electric vehicle that's made by Hyundai. Anyway, so like and subscribe if you want to learn more about electric cars. All right, the workout. So basically you have to subscribe to iFit, but they gave me a free membership and this is the workout. 34 minutes, calorie burn 241, yeah right. Estimated effort score 259. Okay, so let's hit start. And then today's water drink, Body armor, no caffeine, pH level of nine. Okay, so now it loads the workout and I'm gonna try to pair these tick pods with this machine. I really like them, they're navy blue, good sound. So we'll go to Bluetooth accessories and then we just hit this little button right here until the case changes a different color. It's like 10 seconds or so. Sometimes you have to use your finger now. You really have to press down. Wait till they turn white. There we go. The screen, we should get a pairing request. So I'd have to exit and go back in. Here we go. Searching, searching. Dang it. Ah, there we go. Connect. So the TickPods 2 Pro. Now we'll put them on in. They made that cool sound. Doo -doo. Okay, it says they're still connecting, but the audio is still coming out of this. Today's workout is going to be focused on intervals and Still says connecting. Lame. Okay, this is the same problem that I've had with the Beats audio, and it's the same problem that I've had with a lot of other audios. So this is the third pair that I've tried to pair. This is the third pair of headphones that I've tried to pair with the Proform, and they haven't worked. So we're just stuck with the audio from the machine and everyone else in the house is gonna have to listen to my workout. Sorry, family, I tried. I really thought third time was the charm. Uh, real quick, I really like these headphones. Really, the only main downside is that uh, they only pair with one device at a time, which is so lame for the year 2021 when I got these. But they have a new pair coming out, which they're gonna send me to review. And row, Whoa. and row, Whoa. and row. Here we go. You guys put up me out there on the ice. How's my turn? Hold it, baby. And breathe. 
No, I'm rewarding you. I'm rewarding you. <laughs> awesome job. Okay, we're going to keep it on the floor. Lay it behind our stomach. We're going back up to you, man. We're going to lap full. Focus on that breathing. A lot of that energy that we're reserving to be safe for that breathing. Three, two, one. Let's go all the way up. Squeeze. Thank you, Tony. Come on, you're low. Okay. Squeeze. Perfect. You're going to feel lower back. Squeeze those glutes. Get those rear delts. And those last go. Good job, team. Champion is setting that power, right? So when you guys are on the big stage, how are you doing?
workout. I'm going to turn down my volume. I don't want to get flay for copyright. Great machine. This is three months later. Oh, they're doing a preview. Hang on. Sweet. New trainer next workout. Well, that'll be fun. Johnny Weir. Okay, so now it starts the cool down. And because it's the cool down, whatever distance you do on here doesn't count towards the leaderboard. But I was mucking around with the silly aura ring in the beginning of the workout and that really screwed things up. Oh wait, audio. Okay, there we go. So audio recording. Yeah, so that should be better. Uh, yeah, I didn't know how to place the mic at a different spot but yeah the, the row machine's good uh it doesn't power off and you know how i feel about that every device every gadget should shut down and have a restart this one does have a restart but it goes into standby mode and i tested after three days it was still just playing the screensaver i contacted support i was on the phone for an hour an hour for that simple question i could not find the answer online this machine their top grade Proform R10 with the iFit integration does not shut down. Uh, the screen is good. That's the most expensive part. This one retails for around 14 to 1600 
uh, US dollars, and that's a lot. If the screen breaks, I think the screen alone is eight or nine hundred. So I might be buying the extended warranty sometime in the next nine months. Anyway, many thanks to PC for originally hiring me to Simplify. And at year 15, I got this for free. The speaker should be in front. So right here, this is where the speaker should be. The speakers are actually pushing the volume away from the rower. Why would I want the volume going that way when my head is right here? That makes no sense whatsoever. The uh, thing is, I had Bluetooth issues, as you saw in other videos. I cannot pair headphones. They just don't work, but I did a HR broadcast from either this watch or this Garmin, they're both Garmin, and automatically the heart rate broadcast. I didn't have to do anything, it was so awesome. I just started working out and my heart rate was on the screen. So I'm gonna do the cool down and then uh, we'll wrap up this review of three months later with the Proform Rowing Machine R10. Well, that answers that question. It says right there, Phoenix 7X. So it's paired with this bad boy watch right there. But I put my headphones back in, I click connect. I turned off all my phones, they're in airplane mode. Cause at one point it was connected to the OnePlus phone and now it's not and it will not connect at all. See, it's right, it just won't. Movoy, you could have done better. I'm disappointed. So now I can just go to the music. This actually happened a few workouts ago. <laughs> I had headphones connected and then they disconnected and then the rowing machine thinks it's connected. All the other sounds, the trainer sound was going through the speakers, but then the music was trying to go through the headphones, but it never did. And the rest of the workout, I didn't have any music. So there's bug number five that I'll be sending to Proform. Now keep in mind, I'm not being picky. Uh, my trade is a QA test engineer or quality assurance uh, engineer. So I test software and I test hardware. And yeah, so my brain has been trained for the last two decades. Stop. Then the music just started. You know, I think what it was, it might've been an internet issue. Yeah, it could have been the internet speed, but I I mean, we have what, 20 devices connected to the network and it's been tested to up to 50. So that's not the issue. I don't know. <sighs> Hope I don't get a copyright strike. I'll make sure there isn't more than five or so seconds playing. And then it's not direct audio, it's more ambient audio. The one thing that does work really, really well is the Bluetooth connection ah, with the heart rate monitors. Oh, five more seconds. And done. So let's review. First thing I really don't like, I wish this screen went up a little bit more. And then if you have tall knees, this bar can hit it. So I think maybe if this thing could be a little more adjustable. Three, speaker should be in back. Four, it should shut down. Five, this seat is really, oh, I got sweaty. This seat is quite hard. <laughs> so 30 minutes on the machine, uh, I feel like I've been on the bicycle for an hour. Anyway, I actually started wearing bicycle shorts with the row machine. Oh, there's my workout summary. Total body threshold row, Duluth curling club. I'm gonna give that five stars. I like those guys. And finish. And then that workout synchronizes with your iFit account and then you can look up all the details. So that was my 17th workout. Well, that was an awesome rowing workout. Uh, couldn't do it justice without showing you the stats on the watches. 
even though it's morally, mainly, morally, <laughs> even though it's mostly about the row machine. So, yeah, t today I, I wore three different watches. I tried to get the smart ring to work, but that did not work for many reasons. <sighs> uh, yeah, and today's wannabe sponsor would be Body Armor, their proprietary electrolyte formula, sport water. PH9, and PH happens to be my initials, so it's my favorite type of water. And then I lace it, if I can use that term, with doTERRA. Yeah, this is peppermint beadlet. And what I do is I put one or two of these in at a time until they dissolve. And then I get this nice peppermint flavor and it kind of tingles your throat. I mean, you could almost call it like a quasi alcoholic feeling. It takes a while. It takes probably a good hour for those beads to dissolve. You might be able to fit them in the seam in there, but yeah, these are essential oil and they're actually meant for uh, oral consumption. Anyway, I got them from my friend Karen at work. Thanks, Karen. Okay, so the Phoenix 7X uh, Sapphire Solar was on my right. The Aura Ring 3 was on my left. The Garmin Venue 2 Plus was on my left. And also the thingamajig, the Amazon Halo View was on my left. Let's look at the stats. And I'm recording today on this little gadget, the Rode Wireless Go 2. So I have the receiver here, and then you probably saw the transmitter on my neckline. So first things first, we need to end this workout and save. Now it doesn't do a recovery thing like this one. You know, I forget this all the time. I forget to take my watches off when I'm filming. Much easier, there we go. So we have the stroke rate, then we have total time, we have the average heart rate graph, very nice. Base, aerobic, it just synchronized through Wi-Fi. Your activity is ready to view. Dismiss. Okay, load, 109. Recovery, 23 hours. Yay! Get to take the rest of the day off. And then I can click here. I can do the training effect. There's the aerobic. Maintaining aerobic fitness, awesome. Then I go back, I can view just heart rate. Very detailed, love this watch. Love it, love it, love it. And then if you forget what your recovery is, you can always scroll down and go to training. Click OK, flip, flip. Oh, there's my VO2 max, 44. I'm working on it, Ben, I'm trying to catch you. 23 hours, recovery not expected. Now, one of the reasons it's so high from just a short workout is this reason. I slept three hours and 27 minutes last night. Short and poor sleep quality. So Garmin takes in all that information. They take in your heart rate, they take in your sleep, they take out the intensity of the workout, and then they program in your recovery. Now let's look at the venue too. Now this one was on sale for 400. It's an AMOLED screen. And if I go to this history, this week, there's my rowing, almost an hour workout, including warm up. Get a great color graph, time, and then I can swipe up. I can do laps, lap one, lap two. Lap two is my cooldown. Time and zone, very detailed. And then there's the summary, strokes 901. Let's see what these strokes were. So on the 7X, we had a stroke total of 869, or this one was 901. Oh, you know what? While I was trying to fix my aura ring, I was pulling with my left arm. Yeah, don't, don't do that. Don't, don't try rowing with one arm. The lawnmower thing, it doesn't work. So that's what threw off the stroke rate. But overall, really close with both stats. The downside is this one does not offer, off, offer recovery, which is a shame. Neither did my Instinct Solar. The new Instinct Solar 2 does. And you think, well, recovery is not a big deal. You know, I've been following it for the better part of a year ever since I got, oh, I think it's some, oh, I lent it to a friend. Ever since I started with the Garmin Phoenix 6X. So the 6 series of Phoenix, the 7 series of Phoenix, the Venue 2 Plus, and another 
seven or plus watches do that recovery heart rate. So we'll do a long press, hourly workout milestone, awesome, and stop. Rowing duration, one hour. We have 71 points, which is, and then it just kind of resets. The data is pretty basic. Wow, 958 points this week, activity. 224 steps, but it gives you the points. Whoop, sedentary time, two hours and 48 minutes. Really cool device, I like it, and that's why I'm emphasizing it today. Next is the Aura Ring. Well, the Aura Ring doesn't tell us squat. You have to input the workout, and then you'd click plus, add workout, go rowing, do start time, and it doesn't really matter because it's not tracking heart rate, so we'll just do 11, it was one hour, so we'll go to 12. And then that was a hard workout. And then we click done. And then it automatically inputs my activity for the day. And then once I synchronize with the ring, it gives me a bunch of calories. And that's about it. The Aura Ring 3 was supposed to be this awesome Finnish piece of technology. Finnish by the company, Finland. But it's not. It's... It's a big delay and a bunch of marketing, it's a bunch of marketing propaganda. That's what it is. Anyway, honestly, the favorite gadgets to work out with, I really like this one. I find the heart rate to be quite accurate and it's really, really comfortable to wear. I mean, look at it. I mean, look at that. What's the word? Real estate? No, girth? The substance? <laughs> I don't know. It's just low volume, not a lot of mass. Very comfortable. This one is beefy. You definitely feel it on your wrist, but it is one of the smartest workout devices I've ever had. The main flaw of this one is you can't answer phone calls on it. You can on this one. And this one is kind of boring when it comes to reaching your goals. This one has really fun uh, animation. So does the Vivo Active Series, the Venue 2. This is the Venue 2 Plus. And uh, there's a couple others, like the Star Wars series of the Vivo Active. Anyway, all right, well, that's it for the workout. Hopefully, you're enjoying the new audio. I spent all my YouTube money <laughs> for almost two months to buy it. So uh, you're not going to see a new watch again for the rest of March. I'll get another new gadget in April when YouTube sends me some more money. Uh, the way that works is ad revenue. Appreciate your time. And thank you for the pithy comments. Jay, you've been a huge supporter. Chris, thank you very much. Paramount Kid, huge shout out to you. My wife, Sasha, she is so incredibly tolerant and patient of all the YouTube uh, chatter. Funny story, we were camping about a decade ago and it was when I first got my Fitbit, I think it was, I'm pretty sure it was this exact one, the Fitbit One. <laughs> and we were sitting around the campfire and we had literally been on the campsite for about an hour. And we start talking and someone starts chatting about uh, exercise routines or something and I couldn't help myself and I started talking about fitness trackers and Sasha goes, Oh, congratulations. You, you made it almost a full two hours before talking about gadgets. Hence the name, Gadgets Anonymous. It's, it's there for a reason, folks. And that's it. I'll see you again with another video tomorrow. Uh, this is going to be part of the... This is day five? Is this day four? Day... Hang on. Today is day four of 11. <laughs> Sorry, I just... Uh, yeah, that's what happens when you sleep three hours and change. That, that happens in life. All right, let the credits roll for the Paramount Kid. Thank you so much for your time. And we'll end with this little bad boy, the Amazon Halo View. See you again tomorrow. Goodbye.
Okay, I got my shortcut working. So now that I'm not in a workout mode, I'm looking at that and I wanna go back to my home screen. Just put my hand over it. Boom, how awesome is that? So let's say you're deep inside the settings menu. Yeah, you're in activities and apps and you're looking at treadmill run. You just wanna go back home, cover the watch face. Boom, you're back home. Now, <laughs> now wasn't that worth subscribing? <laughs> Now, wasn't that worth subscribing right there? You just cover it. Brilliant, I love Easter eggs. Thank you, Garmin. And more of day four of 11. Just got done from a quick run and I did not listen to my Garmin watch. It told me to have a recovery of 19 hours, but I had to go pick up this silver uh, Oura Ring Gen 3 from Stefano. I ran the whole way there and in case you forget, Old guys rule, we really do, old guys rule. And I have everything in a spreadsheet, by the way, so you're gonna see some sleep data soon. I have a link down below if you wanna look at the spreadsheet now. Let's see what the recovery rate is now. Uh, three hours of sleep, an hour in the row machine, and a, almost a one mile run. All right, here goes nothing. Stop. Now this one doesn't have recovery data but it will give us a nice summary. Just under a mile, 200 calories, nice. And then I was just doing a GPS sync. Time synced, cool, Salt Lake, that's awesome. And we can back out of that. The vibration motor in here is awesome. 0.77 pace, heart rate, recovery, 26 hours, so at my recovery by another five hours. So no more workouts today.